Now, the concept of punching automation is that it allows us to work section by section, getting different volume levels for each and returning to the previous levels after. In other words, punching in and then punching out the automation. So let me show you how it works. I have a project set up here with a verse, chorus, verse, and a chorus. And I want to change the levels for the chorus. I haven't written any automation yet, although this workflow will work even if you have. So let's hear a bit of the verse. What's the angle? I'm not playing that game. It's the same business with a different name. Let's say we're happy with that level, but in the chorus, we want to change it completely. So we'll put our cursor at the beginning of the chorus and we'll change our automation mode. We'll go to the actions menu, show action lists, and type into the filter auto mode. And we can choose our automation modes for all our tracks right here. So let's change it to latch preview, which basically means we can preview our levels without writing them. So let's open the mixer. Here's all our tracks. And because we're in Latch Preview, any of the movements we make won't be written. We're just previewing those levels, or basically auditioning them. So let's start with these tracks muted. Let's hear the drums. And we changed our levels for the drums in the chorus. Let's go to the percussion. And the bass. The guitars. And finally, the vocal. That sounds pretty good right there. And we'll notice no automation was recorded. We could see the automation envelopes, but no points were written. We're just previewing these levels. So now we could switch to write mode. Right over here, set all tracks to write mode. Now if we hit play, it's gonna write that automation. No, thanks. As you can no, see thanks. right here, it's writing automation to the chorus. And we stopped before verse two, which will go back to the previous level. So now let's switch it to a different mode. We could choose either read, trim read, or let's choose touch, which still takes us out of writing our automation and it'll play it back. And now it's gonna play back what we did. Let's start early so we could see it jump. This is the old level in the verse we liked and it'll jump to the chorus levels we just wrote when we get to the chorus. If I quit fine, you can sell me anything. No thanks. Okay. When we go back to verse two, it'll jump back to these levels. Perfect. Now to transfer these levels to chorus two, just put the cursor anywhere in this area to make sure the levels jump to that. Then we'll switch to write mode, then jump over here and write while we play back chorus two. As we can see again over here, so 
writing automation to this course. Again, we'll stop right before the next section. Now to play it back, we should switch to a playback mode. So we don't write automation again. We can choose read, trim read. Let's use touch again. And now it'll play back the same way it did before. Correct in the verse and the chorus. If I quit Perfect. But there's one problem with this method. You have to play through the sections to write the automation. But there's another way to avoid that. Let's undo all this and let's start again. We'll go to the chorus again, switch to latch preview again, go to our mixer, and get the levels we want. I'm speeding this up to save time. Again, we're happy with these levels in the chorus. And instead of writing them in write mode, we could just select this section by creating a time selection like this. Then we'll go to the actions, type into the filter, write time, and choose this action right here, which will write the current values to the time selection. Double click this, and it wrote those values just to the chorus or the time selection we set up. Now, if we switch back to touch mode, clear the time selection, it'll do the same thing. If I quit by, you can sell me anything. It jumped to the chorus level and it wrote it to the entire chorus. And to copy it to the second chorus, click anywhere in here. Switch to write mode, make a time selection of the second chorus, choose this action again, and it wrote that level. Again, the same level as here. We'll switch it back to touch mode. Again, it jumped to the chorus level we want. So our chorus and our verses are different, but they're based on the setting we set up using latch preview, previewing the chorus level and then writing it using our time selection, instead of having to play back and record the whole chorus. But there's one other way we could do it even quicker, using a custom action. So let's undo this one more time. Let's go back to our actions. Let's create a custom action. We'll start off switching it to write mode. Let's also choose touch mode, which we'll switch back to later. Go to new action, new custom action, and it adds both of them. Then we'll go over here to the filter, type in write time, and choose the action we used before to write to the time selection. Drag it over here, put it in between these two. So this custom action is going to put our tracks to write mode, write based on the time selection, and then go back to touch mode. Let's also clear the time selection. Right over here, remove time selection. So to remove the time selection for us. Let's give it a name and let's save it. And the custom action shows up right here. Let's assign it with a keyboard shortcut. I'm gonna use Control W, but of course you could use any keyboard shortcut you want. Hit OK. Now we can close this and start by getting our levels right at the chorus. Let's switch to latch preview. You might want to give this a keyboard shortcut as well to make it quicker. Get our levels for our chorus. 
I'm speeding this up to save time. Now if we're happy with the levels in the chorus, just select this chorus, hit the custom action, and it wrote to it and removed the time selection and put us back into touch mode. So now we could play back that automation. And to transfer it from here to here, put our cursor within the chorus, switch to right mode, right here, select this, hit that keyboard shortcut, and it wrote it, removed the time selection, and put us back into touch mode. So again, it'll play back perfectly. And again, when we come out of the chorus, it'll go back to our verse levels afterwards. Perfect. So by using the custom action, we can create different sections and punch in and out or automation, adjusting the levels for each section completely separately, taking advantage of the latch preview automation mode. So that's pretty much it. That's punching automation in week. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.